Hey, welcome back. I think it's been about eight months since my last trip video that uh, run up to Michigan there. Uh, since then, I've actually moved out to Colorado. Actually, just a couple weeks after I shot that video, we had an opportunity uh, kind of fall in our laps that made it a lot easier to move out here than we had really ever hoped. Um, and it was something we had been wanting to do for two or three years. So that's where I'm at. It is uh, June 3rd, Saturday, June 3rd, a beautiful spring day. I'm cruising through the mountains here. I just passed Bailey, Colorado, and uh, heading out to the Lost Creek Wilderness. Should be there uh, probably in about 45 minutes, and I'll see you at the trailhead. All right, so I made it to the trailhead. This is a uh, Ute Creek Trail. I'm gonna take this up about five miles to Bison Peak, and then uh, I'll give or take, and then it's about another mile up to the summit there. Beautiful day, a uh, few clouds in the sky. I think there was a 10% chance of rain, which in my limited uh, Colorado experience means it's gonna rain at some point today. But uh, this is a beautiful place, and uh, looking forward to hitting the trail. So let's do it. Well, as much as I'm going to hate carrying the extra weight, I'm going to stop and grab another couple liters of water here because the trail is moving higher and higher from the creek. Actually, I had to come down a little bit of a ways to get at it. This is a pretty enough spot to have some lunch. Let's see if Jimmy John's freaky fast. All right, about a mile and a half in, just reached the border for Lost Creek Wilderness. Aspen's starting to bud out here. So quite a ways to go yet, but I believe that's the destination there. Right there. Pretty sure that's it. So Bison Peak kind of has two, two humps on it there. So getting there. Really pretty. Moving through a lot of aspens. Good stuff. All right, I'm at about uh, 9,600 feet now. About two and a half miles in. For what it's worth, if you do this hike, uh, the creek was flowing really nicely. Again, this is June 3rd, so real early June. And uh, lots of water for the first two miles. After that, uh, I either moved away from it or it went underground or whatever. A little bit closer yet. 
get a good view of the peak there. Quick, quick altitude or elevation check. So I'm uh, 3.4 miles in uh, with my constant stopping for pictures and video. Uh, it's been about two hours and 45 minutes. It says my moving time is an hour and 15 minutes, which seems really unlikely. There's no way I was moving that quick. But uh, standing here, it's 10,325 feet. So up to the tippy top of that summit, that's 2,000 feet above where I'm at. Beautiful view. This is 11,200 feet. Just about uh, time to head up to the summit here. Just gorgeous. The trail has pretty much turned into this, uh, I don't even know, pea gravel sand mix. And you can see the trees are starting to thin out quite a bit. And that's the way forward. So the Ute Creek Trail ends here, um, becomes the McCurdy Trail. Um, so we're gonna hang it right here, go east for a little bit, and then uh, make the ascent up to the summit. You may be able to see part of it right behind me there. Uh, looks awesome, just patches of snow here and there. And uh, looking forward to getting there. I stopped here to catch my breath, uh, 11,314 feet. That is the very first patch of snow I have seen on this entire hike. Uh, which on the one hand is awesome. I didn't want to be dealing with a bunch of snow. On the other hand, I called the South Platte Ranger District before I headed up. And uh, they told me, expect snow at 10,000 feet. <laughs> so. Now you know. Uh, fortunately, after I talked to them, I did see a report on 14ers.com. Someone had just been up here a few days ago and said uh, the summit itself was just patchy snow. Uh, so I knew I was in for smooth sailing uh, for most of the way. Pretty close to the top. Awesome view. Just awesome. Just a line of mountains. And it's been sprinkling a little bit, just a little bit. But uh, the sun has popped out. Yeah, it's a gorgeous view. You zoom out. Just incredible. Eleven thousand six hundred feet. Spectacular mountain ranges in every direction. Uh, just massive boulders here on the top. It's uh, the top of this mountain is a huge plateau and full of these weird rock formations. I, think I read someone called it uh, Giant's Playground or something. Seems apt. So there you go. I'm gonna go stand next to this bad boy for a sense of scale.
And this is a nice view of uh, the saddle, <coughs> excuse me, little saddle that you cross to get over to the actual uh, peak, the summit. So of the three bumps on the top there, it's actually the middle one, uh, it is the highest point of the mountain. So past a few people leaving, and uh, there's one guy wandering around. Looks like he just climbed up the, I don't know, like a false summit or whatever behind me. Um, but otherwise I got the place to myself, which I'm not complaining about. All right, time to get over there. Just looking back down into that saddle. Awesome views. And I'm just kind of working my way up here, up the side of this. And uh, the summit's back behind all this stuff here. So, good amount of milk going on up here. That's where I hiked up. And just in between those humps there is the end of the trail. Almost there. I think that's it. But I'm not entirely sure. Some huge boulders next to me. There it is. The day's hard work about to pay off. That little stick up there, that is the summit. Welcome to the top. It's awesome. All right, it's cold and windy. It'd be nice if these clouds blew out, warmed it up some, but I am gonna head to lower ground and find somewhere to set up camp. I know it's windy, but the sun's out. Just some really pretty light up here. Just came back over the saddle. Still kind of trying to find a decent spot to camp for the night. Uh, the wind picked up a bit, so I think I am going to stay up here, though, at least up on this plateau. So the top of this mountain is basically a huge plateau. I think I read 
if you were to cut the thing off at 12,000 feet, it would leave like a mile and a half long field. So that's how long uh, or wide, depending on your point of view, the top of this mountain is. All right, so this is camp, <coughs> camp for the night. Uh, just a little under 12,000 feet. I'm still up here on the plateau, just on the other side of the saddle, but uh, I'm beat. And uh, this is a pretty good spot. It's sheltered here on three sides. And uh, my tent blows away. Should be good. Frankly, even if there's something better, I'm too tired to go hunt it down. So this is going to do it. Get my stuff set up here and uh, make some dinner because I'm starving. Seems like I managed to get some sort of respiratory thing going here. I'm surprised the uh, elevation didn't really bother me. I mean, it's hard to hike at this elevation with being starved of oxygen and all. But uh, other than that, didn't really feel any ill effects. So dinner is, again, the mountain house or backpacker's pantry, what have you. What I grabbed out of the bin is, again, rice and chicken. Always rice and chicken. <laughs> so this is that water I pulled out of the creek at the start. Just filter some for dinner. I haven't looked in my backpack. I I think I've still got a fair amount left. Um, I've got a two and a half liter bladder in there. And I was drinking pretty regularly, so I've probably maybe got three quarters of a liter or so. But I should be good to get out of here tomorrow. Um, this is a two liter uh, ever new bag. So plenty of water, actually. Cheers. Rocky Mountain water. Tent's all set. Again, you've seen it, Copper Spur, UL1. Everything's inside. I'm not hanging food, nothing. If a marmot tries to get in, uh, they'll be finding a bullet-ridden marmot up here. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little campsite. Give you the grand tour. Here's my east wall. There's my north wall. And there's the west wall. There's my humble abode. Looking out across the plateau. Trail uh, is pretty much uh, right there. So we'll be heading out there tomorrow. All right, so this is it for today. The battery's just about to die. And uh, I've got another one I'll switch out. But uh, I'm beat, I'm gonna eat my food and just relax. Uh, sun doesn't go down until about nine o'clock, so I've got a few hours left to just chill out and uh, enjoy my time up here. So I guess this is camp 11,900. That's what I'll call it. If it seems like I'm like fixated with the elevations, uh, it's just a novelty to me still. So yeah, I kind of am. <laughs> but uh, this is higher than I've ever been. And uh, even higher than driving through the Eisenhower Tunnel, I think, so there's that. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is it for tonight. Awesome day. Um, there is no one up here other than the two guys way up there by the summit uh, doing their thing. So I am so glad I came out here. So glad the uh, forecast turned out to be correct. It drizzled a little bit, but other than that, uh, some gray skies, and then it broke up right around 5 o'clock, and it's just beautiful out. So saw one marmot. No other wildlife other than the moose I saw driving here. But uh, 
that's okay. I don't want him here trying to eat my stuff. So that's it. I will uh, start up again in the morning. Uh, good morning from the peak. It's gorgeous. Some clouds just draped over the hills there. And hopefully you can make out the mountain ranges in the distance on the horizon. It's a little before six o'clock. I take it back. It's five minutes after six. Pretty good night. I did wake up at two o'clock only to see that the uh, weather underground's prediction of when the moon set was horribly inaccurate. That thing was up and bright as could be. Lots of stars, but uh, too much light for any photography. About the quietest night I've uh, ever heard. <laughs> Wasn't uh, until the sun came up, the wind kind of, really a breeze just picked up when the sun rose. Otherwise it was dead quiet and it got very cold, just above freezing. A lot of condensation on my tent. One last look at the summit there. Kind of a 360 of the whole plateau. And one last look at camp. Got a ton of condensation on my tent there. You thought it rained last night, it's so wet. Just kind of tucked behind this nook here. Right in the center of the screen is where the trail picks up and heads back down. All right, so that's the trip. Uh, thanks for tagging along. Thought I'd 
share a few details here at the end that people are generally interested in. I didn't make much of along the way. Um, my pack weight uh, when I left the house with the water bladder full, all the camera gear and all that jazz was, uh, let's see, 32 pounds. And then I picked up another four pounds of water at the creek there. So call it 36. Um, and then obviously I drank a lot of that off on the way up. But uh, 36 pound pack probably made that trail a little bit tougher than it needed to be. Um, that said, that was a relentless trail. Uh, from the trailhead to here, it's, it's constant ascent. There's really no breaks. Um, so it's a good workout. And then obviously you're, you're you know, climbing an elevation, losing, losing air as you go. Uh, so you definitely feel it. Um, I slept okay last night. I haven't felt any altitude sickness or anything like that um, for being up at this altitude. Um, I should say I slept okay after a while. I tossed and turned a lot. I would wake up, and honestly, I could feel, uh, I could feel, but I could hear my heart beating uh, faster than usual. And I assume that's from either the exertion of getting up here or just by dint of being up here uh, trying to sleep. But it passed, um, or I was just too tired, and eventually uh, being tired won out. So I did, uh, I did get some good sleep eventually. Um, it was super, super quiet. It got pretty cold last night. There's frost all over the place here. Um, but it's beautiful. So hope to make a lot more of these, uh, get a lot more of these videos out this year. Um, after I did that trip to Michigan last year and then went, went hunting after that, pretty much every waking minute um, between then and uh, mid-January was spent moving us out here, flying back to the house, getting the house ready to sell, driving back out here uh, for the final time, and then the house hunt and the final move into our house out here. So it's been a very busy spring. Uh, fall and spring, um, but things have kind of chilled out now, back into a bit of a routine and just looking forward to getting out as often as I can. Uh, so if you're watching, I'm glad you are, and uh, stick around. Hopefully there'll be some good stuff coming out. Thanks. Herded elk running by here on the way out.